Hello beautiful individuals. Lord, this is unnatural. I know I've been a bit AWOL for the past month or so, but I've been on holiday, I've been enjoying my summer, I've also been working, so I've been very busy and hence haven't had time to film any videos, but I'm back now, back in business, and today I'm bringing you a summer favourites video. Now, I don't normally do favourites videos. I often do blog posts on products and things that I'm liking, but I don't normally do videos. So I thought, why not? Do a video. These videos are quite popular amongst the beauty community, so yes, there are a couple of beauty slash skincare products, but there are a couple of other things that I'm going to talk about as well. So stay tuned if you want to find out what I'm liking. Okay, so I have a couple of skincare products. As it is the summertime, looking after your skin is paramount. Therefore, I have been investing in certain things to keep my Dermis looking dreamy. The first is this Vaseline moisturizer. I know this is like a basic product, but this is my favorite moisturizer of the moment. It's the Intensive Care Essential Healing Non Greasy Lotion. And let me tell you, yeah, this smells so great. I can't even deal. I don't know what it smells like. I cannot explain to you what this smells like, but all I know is that it smells brilliant. It is clinically proven to keep dry skin healed for up to three weeks. This is good if you have sensitive skin, if you have damaged skin, if your skin just needs a bit of TLC, but obviously you can use it if your skin is perfectly fine. It's just huge and it just smells good and it's moisturizing. It does what it says on the packet. So that's basically that. The next thing I have are a trio of products that came together in a packet like this. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? It is the Malibu Travel Pack and it includes the Ice Blue After Sun Lotion, the SPF 30 Hair and Scalp Protector, and a lip balm. These are all mini products, but guys, just, just, just listen. This I have never seen before in my life. The scalp and hair protector, I just think it's a brilliant idea. The thing is, I always, well, most of the time have a middle parting going on. So I end up just getting a random streak of sunburn on my scalp, which is very annoying. When I discovered this, I was like, where have you been? This and the lip balm, which might I add is very moisturizing. Let's add some now. They just smell brilliant. They just smell tropical and fruity and like summer. I also have the sun cream, which I have to add is very, very good. Just the whole Malibu range, you know, it's been around for, for ages and it's like a staple skincare brand. So, I mean, I have no faults with it. The ice blue gel, I haven't really used because I was being really careful and I didn't really get that burnt or not really burnt enough to warrant using super soothing after sun gel. So um, I will admit that I haven't actually sampled that one. However, I've read a lot of reviews and, and it's been given great reviews online. It's also very cheap. This, this trio is like four pounds. You can't go wrong with four pounds. Moving swiftly on, I have a miniature face cream that I have been using whilst on holiday. This is the Mimitika Face Sunscreen SPF 50. Now, I got this as a sample in a birch box. I used to receive a birch box every month, but I canceled my subscription because it was too expensive. <laughs> but this was one of the products that I tried, along with another product that I'll show you in a hot sec. This is a really nice cream. It is a sunscreen. It's specifically designed for your face with a very high SPF rating. And guys, this is non-greasy. It's a very, very light. It smells lovely. It does the job. It's just so cute. Even though it's small, it lasts you a long time because I mean, that's how much I've used. And I've had it for like a month or two. Normally this retails at 17.50 for the full size product. However, I'm pretty happy with this size. I'm not sure if you can buy this size though. I'll have to check that out. But yeah, if you are looking for a great face sunscreen, this is for you because you know what it's like when you go out and it might not be really, really hot. It's 
cool enough for you to cover up your body but obviously your face is always going to be on show and you want to make sure your face is protected so I didn't get burnt at all whilst using this I still managed to get like a bit of color and a lot of freckles so that's great um nothing else to say about that really the next thing I have is like I said another miniature product and this is the benefit gimme brow eyebrow gel this product is essentially a brow gel and it has a tiny tapered brush which you work onto your eyebrows and it basically gives you color as if you have filled them in so it's kind of like a brow tin it stays on all day I'm wearing it now hi and I've been using it since I received it in the birch box and honestly this thing is great. Normally I tip my eyebrows and when I don't, I feel like my world is like not complete. So I just use this. It just looks natural. Um, obviously you don't get any like streaking or pencil marks. It's great if you have thin and fine eyebrows like I do. I need a lot of volume and definition. Normally this retails at £21.50 for the full size product. However, you can get these mini products. They are available to purchase in places like Boots and they retail at about £11. So if you just want to try it out and see if it's for you, then you can just get the mini version. My shade is neutral light brown, it's shade 3. They have about 8 different shades as well, so that's really good. The range is quite extensive. The next thing I have to talk about is the Holika Holika Holly Pop BB Cream in matte. It looks like this. It's quite a small tube. This is a Korean beauty brand that I had never heard of previously, but I was browsing the either Beauty Bay website or the Feel Unique website, I can't remember which one, and I was looking for a BB cream and I came across this. They have two others, so this is the matte one. There is a glow one and a moist one, I believe. This one had the best reviews, so I decided to go with this one. I was taking a gamble as it was, so I wanted to get one that was reliable. With matte you can't really go too wrong, whereas with products that are quite glowy and dewy, you never know what they're going to be like, I guess. I was so impressed with this. It's very cheap. It's like between five and seven pounds, I think. It just looks so natural and it just makes your skin look amazing. It's very smoothing. Um, it's not cakey at all. It's very light. I like the formula. I was a bit skeptical about the shade because they don't have shades. Like that's the, that's the downside. So for me, it's okay. But obviously if you're someone who has darker skin then this is not for you however if you're quite pale you should try this out because it kind of just goes with your skin tone it just blends in really nicely i just i really have a lot of good things to say about this and i will definitely be purchasing this again this is like my new bb cream the thing is the reason why i bought a new one was because my old favorite was discontinued and i was very angry the body shop throwing shade right now. I'm lying. You know what, they hadn't discontinued it. They just made it more expensive and changed the formula, which is still pretty shitty. Unfortunately, I had to look elsewhere, but I'm happy I did because if I didn't, I wouldn't have come across this BB cream. The last product on my skincare list is the Alia face mask. So I'm sure you guys, you avid social media users, have seen this pink clay mask all over the internet. In fact, there are so many brands that sell these pink clay masks now. So I believe even Lidl or Aldi has their own version. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily take a gamble on Lidl or Aldi, but it just goes to show how popular pink clay has become recently. So this one is called Alia. It is the Australian pink clay mask, which detoxifies and brightens your skin. It closes your pores. It's great for sensitive skin. It smells good. As you can tell, I have a thing about smell. I have a thing about aesthetics. Like if something looks good, I automatically give it a higher rating. It's quite small, but you can get quite a few uses out of this. So Aaliyah recommends that you use this cream three to four times a week, which is quite a lot. Now I've only been using it once or twice a week and therefore it has lasted me quite a while. So this is what it looks like. It's pink clay. I love putting this on my face. You leave it on for 10 minutes and then you wash it off with warm water. Guys, this actually works. I feel like I'm slightly biased because my skin is generally quite good. So I would love for someone who has more problematic skin to use this and see results. But I obviously did my research. 
they have a lot of YouTube reviews, a lot of online reviews. People have posted photos of their skin before and after using this mask for a decent amount of time and like the results are mad guys, like the results are truly mad. It really does help out your skin and help to get rid of acne. Like I said, my skin is quite good, so I only really get spots during my periods. I had like one spot, the period just gone. The only thing I have is like a few scars from spots I've had in the past on my chin. My pores are very small, I don't really get any other sort of issues with my skin, so I wasn't expecting a lot, if that makes sense. But since using this, I just feel like everything is so clear and I've been getting compliments and I just feel like I'm really taking care of my skin with this product so I would 100% recommend. The only thing is, it is from Australia so I feel like in the future I'll buy this in bulk because shipping one mask over from Australia is not exactly sustainable. They have free delivery but you do have to wait a substantial amount of time to receive it so I feel like if you're gonna buy it maybe buy it in bulk. They do other products as well, they do like a whole kit of products for your face but I only really needed the mask because I'm quite happy with the other products that I use so I feel like I've been talking about this for a while so I'm gonna move on swiftly but honestly check it out they always have sales on all the time I get emails from them like we have 30% off everything today and I'm like yeah yeah you're gonna have the same offer on in a week <laughs> they always have sales so it is fairly pricey it's like 27 pounds for this one mask but just try it out guys. If not, try out another brand that is similar because Pink Clay is, it's good. So now I'm gonna talk about some other favorites. I've got a book, I've got a TV program, I've got an album and I've got an artist. So I'm gonna start off with the book. On holiday I read this book. It's called Everything You Ever Wanted by Louisa Salma. The blurb simply says, a beautiful new planet, a meaningful new life. Are you ready? It is honestly a really thought provoking book. It's beautifully written. It's very relatable. I'll give you the sort of overview of the book without spoiling too much. But basically the protagonist is a girl or a young woman called Iris. And she is living in London. She has a kind of, I don't want to say standard job, but like she works full time, she works five days a week, she works in media. She isn't particularly um, happy with her life, which is one of the reasons why she moves to a different planet called Nyx. So an opportunity arises for a hundred people on earth to go and live on this other planet, which is sort of like a social experiment. So everyone on earth can see their lives unfold on this planet, whereas the people on Nyx cannot communicate at all with anyone on earth. They can't go back once they're there, they're there, that's it. They live in a place called The Hub. It's kind of like a place for them to socialize, to learn new skills, to understand like the beauty and simplicity of life without the stresses of like violence and war and social media and all that jazz. So it's, it's very appealing to Iris, who is not in the best of mental states. She's, like I said, not happy with her job. She has a small family. She doesn't really get on with her mum. She starts going out with one of her colleagues. None of this is enough for her to want to stay on Earth. She just doesn't enjoy life. She goes to Nyx and then you kind of find out what happens whilst she's on Nyx. She stays there for years and years. It really makes you appreciate everything around you because, like I said, once these people go to Nyx, they cannot go back. And there are pages and pages of her talking about how much she misses the most simple things, which I think is really profound. Like, we kind of complain about all this stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a really good read and it can be quite depressing in places, in fact. It can be very depressing in a lot of places. However, I would say it's definitely worth a read. It's easy to read. I read this in like a couple of days because I was so hooked. I just wanted to find out what was happening. And that's the sign of a good book in my opinion. So go check it out. As for film and television, I have been hooked on years and years. Oh my gosh, guys, I am in love with this program. I have a love-hate relationship with this program. That's more accurate because, guys, <laughs> I don't know why I've been like dowsing myself in existentialism recently, but that's been the mood, yeah, for, for this summer. 
doesn't make any sense. I've been living my best life and also worrying about the future of the planet. Anyway, Years and Years is a series produced by BBC and HBO and it's got a lot of big names in it. Russell Tovey, Anne Reid, um, Jessica Hines, Emma Thompson, who is fantastic. I love her to bits. It's basically about one family and what happens to them over the course of 15 years. So from 2019 until 2034. I can't do math, someone correct me. So yeah, there are a lot of themes. It's very um, politically based. So you see like all sorts of things going on in the media and society. Excuse me. There's themes of immigration, LGBT, class, race, the economy, the news, fake news, technology, everything that has kind of been at the forefront of life in 2019 is like rolled into one in this program. And let me tell you, yeah, this program is so startlingly depressing, but also realistic and I think quite profound. It really makes you think that these things could potentially happen in the course of the next 20 years or so. It seems dramatic, but then it also doesn't at the same time because crazy things are happening. Like, let's, let's face it, crazy things are happening. So me personally, nothing startles me anymore, basically. Anything can happen and it's mad. I cried a lot during this. I, I really did. The characters are really um, easy to align yourself with, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of things that you can relate to. And like, I, I really enjoy like dramas that involve families and friendships and just close relationships in general. Like I love reading, watching about them. There's only six episodes. They're quite long, they're an hour long, but I binge them. And I would suggest you do too, because it's fantastic. The album that I've been rinsing recently has been Ed Sheeran's number six collaborations project. I feel like a lot of critics haven't actually rated this album very highly. I think it's fantastic. As the title suggests, he's done a massive collaboration project with loads of different artists. There are songs with Eminem, Her, Travis Scott, j Har, Stormzy, Skrillex you name it, they're on the album. Ed Sheeran's previous albums are all named after like mathematical operations, right? So he's actually set about doing that on purpose and then he said once he's done three, he's gonna do this big project. And like he stuck to his word and he actually carried it out. So some of my favorite songs on the album include um, South of the Border, Feels, I Don't Want Your Money, Cross Me, but to be honest, I, usually just put on the whole thing and listen to it straight through. It's just, it's just great. He dabbles in all sorts of genres. And I think Ed Sheeran is honestly so talented. I would love to see him live. Last but not least is an artist that I've been loving recently. And I know this might be kind of controversial, but I've been loving Doja Cat. <laughs> Honestly, I just think this woman is so flipping funny. She makes my life. I've been banging out loads of songs of hers on Spotify. I'm just really into female rappers anyway. Like, I, I just have this thing for female rappers. And I just love how open she is about stuff. Like, Love Juicy, Go To Town, Tia Tamara, that song I just, I bang that song out. She's great to listen to in the car, let me tell you. But yeah, I know there's been like, talks of her being canceled. I mean, this was last year when she made some homophobic comments. Well, she made them in the past, but she was addressing them last year, I think. I mean, I talked about this whole cancelling culture in one of my other videos. To be honest, I feel like it really depends on what the person has done or said. And in my opinion, like, I think we're all just a bit too hung up on it. I feel like it's not that deep. People are gonna come at me probably. But I don't like it when people are um, are saying one thing and then still listening to like Chris Brown. I just think she's funny. I like her music. She's ridiculous, but do you know what? It's entertaining. Like entertainment is so subjective. Anyway, that has been my favorites for this summer. Summer's almost over. Can't believe it, time goes way too fast. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, obviously. Let me know if you want me to do any more favorites videos. I will be doing them like every season. So I hope you guys have a fabulous week, weekend, day. I don't know when I'm gonna put this video up, so yeah. 
But thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.